Hi there guys, it's Richard McMahon from the Career Guidance Company HowToBecome.com and in this video I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to tackle speed, distance and time. Now some people will be required to undertake either an exam relative to SDT or they will be required to answer questions in live format when someone's firing questions at them so they can't write down the answers or the calculations. Um, and that type of scenario is usually for those people who are applying for a role within the military, whether it's for a role as a pilot, um, applying for an officer role within the Royal Air Force, the Army, the Royal Navy, the Royal Marines, you will have to be conversant in the use of speed, distance and time. And more importantly, knowing how to tackle these kind of um, questions under pressurised scenarios and without having the facility to write down. So you have to work it out in your head. So this video is going to help you prepare fully for speed, distance and time calculations. Also, please make sure you watch this from beginning to end because I'm going to give you a really cool free resource. It doesn't cost anything whatsoever and um, where you can practice speed, distance and time till your heart's content. So stick on, on the video just for a couple of minutes and I'll tell you where you can get these free resources from. So speed, distance and time, a couple of tips. Now I don't want to insult anybody's intelligence here, but it's really important that you know your 12 times table off by heart. So if I say to you, what's seven 12s? And you're going to be able to say quickly, 84, what's five 12, 60? And so you should know this off by heart, but I put a table there for those people who want to either print this off um, or use this when they're practicing their speed, distance and time. The second one is to memorize the following triangle. Now, I put three triangles up here, even though the parameters on each one are the same. So you can see that the D for the distance is at the top, and the bottom left, you've got S for speed, and the bottom right, you have time. Now, each one of these you'll see on the triangle is a shaded part. So if we're calculating, calculating distance, you can, I will use the left triangle because distance equals speed multiplied by time. The middle one, if I'm calculating time, then the formula is distance divided by speed. And then finally, for speed, if I'm calculating speed, it's distance divided by time. So you need to memorize this and always remember that the D goes at the top in the triangle. Okay, so if we're calculating speed, distance and time, just to recap that, to work out the distance, then the formula is speed multiplied by time. To work out the time, then the formula is distance divided by speed. And finally, to work out the speed, it's distance divided by time. So let's have a look at a sample question. Before I give you some to try yourself, live here on the video under time conditions. So we're going to look at calculating speed specifically right here. So to calculate the speed, we put up the triangle there. And if you're working out speed, remember to place your thumb over the S variable and see what equation you're left with. And in this case, it's speed equals distance divided by time. So the question is, what speed covers 30 miles in two hours and 30 minutes? Now, some of you should be able to do this quickly in your head and this is a very basic question but one I want to work through for you um, and you need to spend some time understanding all these different types of questions getting used to the formula and then being able to answer them quickly so step one we know that the formula required to calculate speed is distance divided by time step two first of all we have to change the time into minutes so you've got there two hours and 30 minutes so to make it easier for you simply calculate how many minutes are in 2 hours and 30 minutes and the answer there is 150 minutes. Now we all know that 60 minutes are in an hour so you can work that out relatively quickly. So step 3, speed therefore equals 30 which is 30 miles divided by 150 minutes because that's the formula. So all we need to do now is cancel down that fraction until the, denom denom sorry, the denominator, the bottom half of the fraction, can be multiplied into 60 minutes. So 30 divided by 150 is 1 divided by 5. We now need to multiply the denominator, the bottom part of the fraction, until it fits into 60. And in this example, the outcome would be 12. 5 fits into 60 12 times. Therefore, the speed equals 12 miles per hour. Now, as I say, you should be able to answer this relatively quickly in your head, and you will as you go along. But some of them will be more complex. So what I'd like you guys to have a try now. At speed, distance and time questions. I'm going to give you five. I'm going to give you just 10 seconds to answer each one. If you need to hit the pause button, please do. But can you please put your answers to each of the five questions in the comments section below and I will mark them for you. Once this is done, I'm going to give you um, a free resource to try. So like I say, make sure you stick around because it's a really cool resource. Question one, what speed covers 90 miles in two hours? 
Speed equals distance divided by time. Well, speed covers 90 miles in two hours. Put your answer in the comments section below. Question two. What speed covers 20 miles in 2.5 hours? A little bit more difficult, more challenging. So what speed covers 20 miles in two and a half hours? Don't forget, if you need to hit the pause button, please do. Question number three. What speed covers 18 miles in 10 minutes? Trickier. What speed covers 18 miles in 10 minutes? Don't forget to use that triangle and put your answer in the comment section below. Question four, what speed covers 10 miles in one hour and 15 minutes? You might need to hit the pause button for that one. What speed covers 10 miles in one hour and 15 minutes? Question number five, what speed covers six miles in one hour and 30 minutes? Pretty slow going. What speed covers six miles in one hour and 30 minutes? Now you'll see that I'm not giving you much time there to answer these, and this is the reality. Some of you will be under pressure, especially if you're applying to become an officer in the armed forces. You'll need to be really quick with these. And to help you, what I'd like you to do is click the link below the video to get free speed, distance, and time test questions. Now I've put together this website, and, and by the way, I'd really appreciate it if, you, if you've enjoyed the video, if you'd give it a thumbs up, that would be great because it will motivate me to create more free resources for you. But when you click the link below the video, it will take you through to my website here. Like I say, it's free of charge to use. It's speeddistancetime.info. And if you click this link here, speed, distance, and time test, it takes you through to this website. So it goes through to this page. What speed covers 28 miles in one hour 10? You put your answer in there, submit your answers at the bottom. So you see, you've got the 10 questions there for you to try. And then you just refresh the page and, you, and it will just chuck out thousands and thousands of questions for you to try. Also, if you want to actually download some questions, I've got some workbooks here at the bottom. Okay, they're really cheap. It's like twelve pounds, nineteen pounds, four pounds. Um, loads of loads of printable questions that you can use there. But like I say, if you just want to use the free resources, click on there and you can use it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. There's also another link below the video. Um, apart from just taking you to that speeddistancetime.info website, I've also got some books if you want to be, join the RAF as an officer or if you want to be a pilot, join the Army or the Royal Navy, then have a look at those links as well because you might find those useful. And um, I hope you've enjoyed that video, guys. Like I say, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to put your answers to the questions below. Um, really appreciate that. And good luck with your speed, distance and time tests. Thank you for watching.